welcome back. I want to talk about some alternative rigging for the two tether saddle platform. Check it out. So in the previous video, I uh, attached this to the pole with uh, the original uh, process. And I uh, had a knot here. I had a knot here that kind of established my, uh, my height where I, where I figured I wanted it, where I wanted to start with it. The height of the the girth hitch around the tree to the to the platform to this knot here, and just to uh, clarify, the way the way this works, it relies on uh, the weight on the platform pushing the platform down, and. Uh, and the relative motion of, of this line goes up and this loop pulls in. And ultimately the, the other end of this, this rope is around the back side of the tree. It's around the tree like this and back. So as this pulls up, this tightens and that's what makes it work. So anyway, uh, in the idea, or in the, uh, in the spirit of making the, the setup a little easier, I figured rather than just have a knot here, I put an alpine butterfly. So I'm going to start with that, and then uh, I'll do a couple of these changes here, and then I'll go over to the pole and, and set it up. But alpine butterfly is just, um, you wrap this three wraps are on your hand like this you reach under you pull the middle one out you wrap it down around and through and then dress and set the knot so that gives you a, a mid uh, a midline loop wherever you want it and I can uh, I can dress this let's see I can uh, move this around. Doesn't have to be so big. So I'm gonna have a just a carabiner goes in this loop here, but so we dress it, dress it, and set it. So that's that's our starting point for that, and then to make this part. A little easier this initial setting here I'm going to make I'm gonna put this bite through this hole and it's gonna stay there it's really with this new new way of rigging this there's no reason why this should really have to come out other than accidentally but so that's gonna be in there and um, so I don't have to push that back through. I will have to uh, figure out how to carry this so that uh, this stays in here. But, uh, and then I have a separate, I'm gonna have a separate line here to girth hitch above. And I'll show what uh, my, my initial thoughts on that. So I'm gonna go over to the pole and set this up okay so i have it 
a tether here, carabiner, scaffold knot, and the way I'm going to make this adjustable, a lot of people may not like, but uh, I'm going to come around here. I want to have my loop, I'm going to have this loop about here, so having marked that, I'm going to grab this and, and make a timber hitch, and that involves twisting this rope, just like this, and then once we put it around the tree, pass this carabiner through it. Let me put a load on here. The hitch stays bound to the tree. Let me shorten that up a little bit. Shorten that. Let's see. That replaces wrapping our that replaces wrapping this line up and around. So I'm gonna take my platform and my, I have a alpine butterfly. And I'm gonna hook that there. I have to move this up another frame. Okay, so now that, now that that's hooked up, all I have to do, and I have this already through, I'm going to pass the working end of my line around the back of the tree and through this loop, through this loop here. And then bring it back. Bring it back. And since this one's on the top, this one's on the top, I'm going to put this one underneath and take a bite, take a bite here and pass it through this. So now once I have that, I can uh, I can start dressing this all up and, and, and pre pre-setting this. So I have this line coming down. I want to have I want to have that this loop and this tightening loop end a little bit higher than than the other side over here just because of the way the way it tightens up but initially pull this you know pull some slack out of here I can pull this line down up and then I'll grab the, the side of this line this is just uh, this bite through and there's the end of the rope but I can pull this initially tighter and I'm going to move with the toe toe side down like I did before I'm going to move that tighter move or I'm going to move the rope down below so when I when I put weight on this it's going to it's going to push down in the back pull into the tree and I don't want this wrap behind the back here to be too high above it. It seems to hold better when it uh, ends up right level. So um, 
but I can uh, let's see. I pull this tight initially, and then I'm gonna put my weight on it. that and now now it's set I realized in the previous video it might have looked like I was it ended up on the ground uh, but it didn't the only other final thing I might do I can put a, uh, I'll do it right now. I'm gonna put a stopper knot. I can put a stopper knot in the end of this, in the end of this line. So, without loosening the stand, I'll just, I'll do that now. Knot of the day, so this is the, this is the stopper knot I'm going to use on my uh, my tethers, my uh, bypass link. Uh, it's the Ashley stopper knot, so it's a mountaineer knot. Anyway, you take the take the line in front of you and make a loop with the end underneath. Set the loop on top of this of the uh, of this part of the line and pull this. So you kind of have a uh, a sliding a sliding knot, and then take the end and pass it through there. And the only thing left to to do is set it dress it and set it and you end up with this uh, three lobes and it's a nice big uh, kind of a flat faced stopper knot and it's a it's a little bigger than the one I was using in my uh, in my bypass link originally but I've since changed them all out to this and learned about this uh, this knot and I like it a little bit better but anyway that's it and uh, at the end of the at the end of the hunt I descend down you know I'll descend down to about this height I'm gonna have to shorten some of this up but I'll descend down here where I can get a hold of this and I lift the platform up lift the platform up and I grab this line and pull it out pull that out and uh, then I can pull this pull this th through and uh, I can take this take that free and lower that to the ground remove this from the tree And shake my camera. Right, once we got it on the ground, well, when I leave, I can just wrap this up and this can go in a pack. And then this, I'm gonna have to do this a little differently, I guess. Um, I can start here though, as usual. Come over here and start this daisy chain. Do a loop here. And the last one through, and then come over to this um, to this loop we want to keep here, and just put this. 
put this through, tighten that up, and then this can go, it just goes over my shoulder, and that's, that's how I carry it in and out of the woods. Hopefully that helps. Thanks for stopping by.